Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props, and today we're going to be taking a look at power supplies. I just wanted to give a couple quick tips for working with 12 volt power supplies. Uh, this kind of standard wall wart style with the barrel plug. Uh, we get a lot of questions about what do you do if you have this type of unit and something with just bare wires on the end of it? How do you connect the two together? What is this? How do they work? So I want to just give a couple quick tips about how to work with this type of device. So let's say you have yourself a 12 volt DC low voltage device like this nano spot and you want to hook it up and plug it in and power it up. Uh, you probably already know that it's not a good idea to just put these two wires into the socket on your wall. That's because your household power is AC, probably 110 volts AC, and this is a 12 volt DC device. So the two don't play well together. If you stick these two wires into these sockets, it's going to make your light blow up, which is not a good idea. That's where a power supply comes in. So the power supply contains a transformer, which takes the 110 volt AC current uh, from a household plug and reduces it to a low voltage, in this case 12 volts at 1 amp. You might notice that we offer a number of different power supplies, 12 volt 1 amp, 12 volt 5 amp, 12 volt 10 amp, so all 12 volts but with different amperage. Basically that means that they can power more things. A 12 volt 1 amp can't power as many of these nano spots as a 12 volt 5 amp or 12 volt 10 amp. Um, but you can use a 12 volt 10 amp to power one nano spot. So the amperage isn't important as far as having too much. Um, that's a little bit more techy than we need to get here. What you really need to know is that plugging this into your household power will convert your household power to 12 volt DC at the end. So now you found yourself with this situation. You have a barrel plug here and two wires. Now, there's a bunch of different solutions for this, but let's say you just want to test your device. You want to see if this nano spot is actually functioning. You'll notice that, uh, at least on this nano spot, we have two wires, a red and a blue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make the assumption that red is positive and blue is negative. You'll notice that this barrel plug has a circle in the middle and metal around the outside. The middle is positive, the outside is ground or negative. So if you wanted to just test the nano spot, you could put the red wire inside the barrel plug and then touch the blue wire to the outside. And you'll see that uh, when we get both wires to connect, the nano spot comes on. So we know it's working. Now let's say you're looking for a little bit more of a permanent solution than just touching the wires to the barrel plug itself. That's where all sorts of cool little adapters come into play. We have a number of different power supply adapters, and I think they're something that anybody who's messing around with electronics uh, for haunt or any other kind of home hobby use should have on hand. One of my favorites is the female power supply adapter with screw terminals. You can see this end here, this is a male end, and this is a female. So these two marry together, and all of a sudden you have screw terminals on the end. So you can take your wires here and screw them into the power supply adapter to power your 12 volt device. This way you can also quickly unplug the device, bring it somewhere else, plug it into a different power supply. So these are really handy to have lying around just in case you ever come across this situation or if you're taking a light from place to place. So you can see why this would be a really handy thing to have around just in case you come across that situation of having a uh, component that has bare wires that you need to connect to a power supply. Another commonly used adapter is a female power supply adapter with bare wires. So again, let's say we have our nano spot, it has its bare wires, and we need to connect it quickly, but we only have this adapter. Uh, you can easily plug the male end of your uh, power supply barrel plug into this female port. And then, again, red being positive, connect those two wires, and then connect the blue or black usually as the negative to the other negative wire, and the light comes on. Uh, it should be noted that low voltage DC is very safe, so I can actually touch uh, these components together since it's such a low voltage without fear of hurting myself, which is one of the big advantages of using 12 volt DC power. We also sell a number of cool adapters, such as this splitter that would split one power supply into a number of different plugs. So you could plug in a number of different uh, 
devices to a single power supply. This is great for small LED lights like the Nano Spot. You can run a number off of a small power supply like this, and it's cool to have an adapter so you can easily just plug them in once you have your uh, female adapter with screw terminals on your light. We also have a male power supply adapter with screw terminals, which you can connect your light to if you had, say, a barrel plug that had a female end on it. So let's say you ended up with a, a female end here and you wanted to connect these two things together. You could just plug the light in and use this adapter to connect the two easily. So let's say you have your power supply and you have your 12 volt component, but you don't have any adapters. So you're sitting here trying to figure out how to get this to connect to this. Well, uh, as you can see, the nano spot here, our 12 volt device, has two wires coming out. And there's actually two wires inside of this uh, thicker wire here uh, coming from the power supply. So if we needed to connect the two together in a pinch, we could actually just cut the barrel plug off the end of the power supply. Uh, you might be able to see that, but inside you already see that there's a white and a red wire. Sometimes um, when you cut a power supply like this, you'll see one wire that doesn't have sheeting or housing on it and one that does. Uh, usually the one that is protected is the positive and the other is the negative. You might also see uh, they might have like a, some kind of filament in here uh, that you can just cut away. So we're just looking for the two wires. That's what we want to get to. So we can take our wire stripper, strip off the outer casing, and you'll see we're left with two wires, a red and a white. That's pretty handy because now we can safely assume that red is positive and white is negative. So we're just going to strip a little bit off the ends. Again, because this is low voltage 12 volt DC, we don't have to worry too much about touching the wires or them touching each other. Uh, if you were working with AC, that would be a whole different story. So you want to make sure you're being careful uh, only working with low voltage when you're doing this kind of work as far as safety is concerned. So now that we have our two wires exposed, I could just connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative and our light will come on. So if you needed to in a pinch, you could twist these together. Um, if you had a wire nut, you could screw that on or you just use some tape, uh, some electrical tape to secure them uh, and, then maybe, and then probably tape around the whole thing to make sure it's protected from uh, damage. And you have a working light from a standard power supply without the need of any type of adapter. So those are a couple quick tips to get you going if you have a 12 volt device and a power supply and you need to either test it quickly or get it up and running for the night and you don't have access to some of these adapters. Uh, hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment under this video or uh, send us an email at sales at Thanks. Bye.